Seems a number of presidential candidates are making New Hampshire the place to be this weekend. Republican Mike Huckabee follows his stop in Manchester yesterday by doing a meet and greet in Wyndham today, which is south of Manchester. John McCain shaking a couple of hands of his own. The Arizona senator is polling at the number three spot in the state with 18 percent. Meantime, John Edwards is the only Democratic candidate stumping in New Hampshire. He is scheduled to speak at a town hall style meeting in Dover. And Senator Barack Obama is knocking on doors in Des Moines, Iowa, talking up his opposition to the war in Iraq. Well, you may not know his name now, but soon you will. Ron Paul is the Republican presidential candidate who is gaining in popularity on the internet. As Jim Acosta reports, he could shake up the 2008 presidential race. Nobody is more surprised by the success of Republican presidential candidate Ron Paul than Ron Paul. Have you come to grips with what's happening with your campaign? Probably not completely, uh, because it's still, uh, it's still pretty shocking to me. That is so nice. Shocking because this little-known congressman from Texas has crashed the party in the race for the GOP nomination. His anti-war, anti-big government views aimed at younger voters appear to be catching fire at a critical time. Like Howard Dean before him, Congressman Ron Paul is the internet phenomenon of this presidential campaign. The lion's share of his donations come from online supporters, and one of the signs you'll often see among his crowds is Google Ron Paul. Drawing millions over the net in the last fundraising quarter, Paul has more money on hand than John McCain and he's estimated to be the most watched presidential candidate on YouTube. There are songs about Ron Paul. Congressman Ron Paul, thank you so much for joining me. He even agreed to an interview with a college student in his dorm room. Ron Paul really is one of the surprises of the 2008 campaign. I think in the beginning, most people thought that he would be a very minor candidate and really wouldn't be much heard from. Paul changed that with his chief issue, Iraq. A war, he says, was sold to the American people with false information. Do you mean that the president and the vice president essentially misled the country? Well, we were misled. What we can't read is uh, into their minds and their motivation. While Paul supporters like his views on the war... He wants to get us out of Iraq. He's not giving a timeline. His liberal followers may not realize Paul, also an OBGYN doctor, is a vocal abortion opponent. You take the pro-life issue, you know, not sending kids off to war and not having a draft is very pro-life. A one-time libertarian candidate for president, Paul opposes most military spending overseas, the war on drugs, and national health care. He earned the name Dr. No on Capitol Hill for voting against bills he thought were not expressly authorized in the Constitution. Do you really think it's possible that you could win the Republican nomination? Of course it's possible. It's difficult. Is it likely, though? It's hard to say. I, I think it's a lot more likely today than it was six months ago. With the first primaries just months away, the next trick for this so-called Dr. No is getting more voters to say yes. Thank you, thank you. Jim Acosta, CNN, New York. We love you, Dr.